In the cold, distant reaches of our solar system lies an uncharted frontier, a place where sunlight barely touches the icy surface, and mysteries are locked beneath frozen crusts. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking discovery that could reshape what we know about Pluto's largest moon, Charon. The James Webb Space Telescope has peered into the darkness and found something incredible, carbon dioxide and hydrogen peroxide on this frozen moon. What secrets are hidden in this icy world? Let's find out. Charon is unlike any other moon we know. Over half the size of Pluto, it's a frozen giant with a reddish, icy cap and craters that hint at a violent past. But what makes this discovery so thrilling? The fact that no one expected to find these chemicals out here. How could a distant moon in the frigid Kuiper belt possibly have CO2 and hydrogen peroxide? The James Webb Space Telescope is a game-changer. Equipped with advanced infrared sensors, it's designed to reveal secrets invisible to human eyes. When scientists pointed it at Charon, Webb sensors picked up something astonishing in the infrared spectrum, carbon dioxide and hydrogen peroxide molecules scattered across its surface. Carbon dioxide on Charon? It's as if this moon has a life of its own. But how did CO2 end up here? Scientists believe it might be linked to volcanic activity in the past or interactions between Charon's surface and solar radiation. This discovery may even hint that Charon had an active geological history, a time when its icy surface cracked open and gases seeped through. But perhaps the biggest shocker? Hydrogen peroxide. H2O2 is an unstable molecule, often formed when radiation hits water ice, breaking it apart. But Charon is so far from the sun, how could there be enough energy for this reaction to happen? Here's the thrilling part, ultraviolet light from the distant sun may be slowly transforming Charon's surface, molecule by molecule. Charon's not just a lonely moon drifting in the dark, it has a strange connection to Pluto itself. Some scientists think that gases from Pluto's thin atmosphere might migrate over to Charon, where they're frozen onto the moon's surface. And with the constant bombardment of space weather, Charon's icy crust might be reacting, shifting, and producing unexpected chemicals. This discovery of CO2 and H2O2 could mean that Charon isn't alone. Could other objects in the Kuiper Belt harbor these same chemicals? Maybe entire worlds out there have hidden chemistry that might one day help us understand more about how solar systems evolve. The James Webb Space Telescope has cracked open a window into a distant, frozen world. With every discovery, we're one step closer to understanding the hidden chemistry of the solar system's outer edges. Who knows what other secrets are lurking just beyond the next planet? Stay with us as we continue this thrilling journey into the unknown.